Elbow Grease Productions in association with MichaelJacksonInsider.com presents Hi, this is Pearl Jr. with MichaelJacksonInsider.com bringing you another episode in the life or death of Michael Jill Jackson. Well, we're going to be talking about the comeback dates. Well, there's been several. One of the first ones that comes to mind is remember MichaelJacksonFakeDeath.com. Remember they had the countdown, which was ending May 21st, 2011. And we thought that maybe Michael would show up on the Oprah finale. Because after all, when Oprah interviewed Michael in 1993, it was watched by nearly 100 million people worldwide and still has the record as the number one most watched interview in world history. Now, we know that he didn't come back those dates. Remember also the date of July 2011 with this note? See you July 2011. Well, he didn't show up then either, but there was a lot of interesting stuff that happened surrounding that, and I will put the link right down here for the MJ place and what happened with CU in July. Then we thought maybe before the Murray trial, then we thought after the Murray uh, verdict, and then we thought 11-7-11, which was the date of the Murray verdict. Then we thought 11-11-11, because Michael wrote that on the end of the Best of Joy lyrics in which he says, I am forever. Then we have the call from Dick Gregory telling me about 12 21 12, which is coming up, and many of you will see this after 12 21 12, which is the end of the Mayan calendar, which means December 22nd will start anew. But then we started getting all these clues about Michael and Christmas and how Michael left reefs up from November 2008 all the way till after the death announcement, Christmas reefs in June, who would think? So was that a clue that Michael's coming back Christmas? Because when you look at the origins of Christmas, there is a sun god. And remember Jermaine Jackson changing his name to Michael Jackson, S-U-N? Oh, it's just so much. Anyway, it was a rebirth and it was a res resurrection three days before Christmas. So we're gonna see if something happens during that time. Then we have Michael saying we got four years to get it right. Remember this? Four years to get it right, or else, it, or else it's irreversible damage we've done. Well, when did Michael actually say that? I think it was sometimes April or May of 2009. So did that start the countdown for the four years? Or did the countdown start when it really started, which was December 21st or 22nd of 2008 when Albuquerque, New Mexico disc jockeys did this. Prank by a local disc jockey scares some Michael Jackson fans. The DJ reported that the king of pop had died from a drug overdose. Well, I think it's pretty cold if it's not true, if they're just spreading that as a rumor. Uh-huh, a death hoax. So is four years coming up really soon? Then we had thoughts of which Michael might come back on American Idol, he might come back on X Factor. After all, Catherine and the estate and Michael's kids all went on the X Factor last season. Then we have the four years, which is June 25th, 2013. Will that be the four years to get it right? Well, guys, I really, really don't know, but I'm here to tell you that we are all in this together. I'm just a messenger. I'm waiting just like you guys are. I'm hoping for a Michael Jackson comeback. And we want to thank Paris Jackson for participating in the Death Hopes by leaving us so many wonderful lyrics and clues that let us know that Michael Jackson did not abandon Paris, Prince, or Blanket, that they have been a part of the death hopes all this time. Well, Michael, wink, wink, nod, nod, smile. We are hoping that we see you soon. Well, this is Pearl Jr. for MichaelJacksonInsider.com, and I will see you next time, hopefully with Michael. Thousands believe Tupac did it. Millions believed Elvis did it. But did Michael Jackson really do it? E-Movie Book, 
suicide. Did Michael Jackson fake his death to save his life? By author Pearl Jr. It's the most shocking true story of our lifetime. Order yours today. Go to MichaelJacksonSuicide.com. That's MichaelJacksonSuicide.com. <laughs>